Minnesota in what has been so far a runaway game. The prodigy having a great impact in this game. Yeah, you know, one of the things about the truly great of our game is that sometimes you get spoiled because of how consistent they can be. And so far, another big scoring night for him. And oftentimes when he puts up that many points in the first half, he follows it up with an even better second half. We'll see if that's the case here. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for Atlanta, Taylor is out there with Lou Williams. Then it's Tabo Safalosha. Then there's the monster. And it's Young in at the four slot. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. The Hawks trail by nine. Outside, Taylor. Back to Williams. Here's the monster. Here's Young, and it's blocked. In a fast break now for the Celtics. Lewis hits the bucket. And he could be the guy to put this game out of reach. The Hawks have gone one of three since starting the second half. Outside, Taylor. Picked by Williams. This is to Cephalosha. Offline with his three. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. And you can see the difference with their ability to win with their speed, guys. Boy, I love the pace and flow that their open court offense has been played with. I mean, it's been humming quietly, but very efficiently. Now, here's Taylor. 18 points for him. Five on the clock. Young with no one around. Again, Young missing. Celtics leading by 13. Pass to Walters. Goes up on the wing. That's good. Thunder's got 15. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Yeah, it's got to be concerned with all the missed shots here. And every team goes through cold streaks. You just got to figure out a way to stay productive. And the best way to do that when you're missing shots is to get to the foul line. Be aggressive, get to the foul line, and knock down some of those freebies, and the tide can turn for you. Atlanta calls timeout, and you look at Thunder. What a contribution. He's definitely rolling offensively. You might not be able to stop him, but you've got to find a way to contain him. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Young outside. Over to the left wing. Cephalosia dishes to Taylor. Ball's knocked loose. And another fast break chance here for the Celtics. Here we go. And he gets it to go. 17 points for Thunder. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle and that they're offensive end. Now, here's Taylor. He's got 18. Young, good look. That's short off the rim. 
they have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Young's got his second bucket. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Now a timeout called by Boston. You know, obviously, he, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you play and you uh, envision yourself as a coach as well. So, you know, sometimes uh, you need to make some adjustments. Celtics leading by 15. And Thomas, here we go. And now here comes Williams leading the break. Here's Taylor. And it's going to be two for... throws drew contact on the shot and let's check out the stats for the prodigy last season he played outstanding first in free throw shooting second in field goal percentage and he ranked third in assist last season as well truly one of the league's preeminent playmakers and you know as you said greg fantastic at the free throw line last year that's a tremendous asset for any team Free throw good, Taylor. When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for the prodigy. 19 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. And Clark, it's no stretch to say the more points he gives them from beyond the arc, <laughs> the better off they'll be. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Boston leading by 13. Thomas passes to Lewis. Unloads from 13. And the shot is long. Atlanta's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Nobody near Williams. A three-pointer is right on target. Williams has got six. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Here's Lewis. And it's denied. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Hawks making a switch here. Capella's checked in. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And Capella sends it back. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. And here they go. Here's the monster. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Out to the wing. Puts it up. They get it back. Here's the great. Uses the glass to finish the way. He's got nine. What a big time mismatch it's been in the post. Where's the defensive adjustment? They're getting housed down there. Yeah, something's got to change. A double team, maybe a substitution, but this is getting out of hand. Now here's Taylor. He's got 20. For three. Lewis grabs the board. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. And the basket by Thomas. So that's a terrific set that they just ran. The Hawks trail by 14. Passes it to the monster. Back to Taylor. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. Boston making a switch here. Johnson's checked in.
Free throw good, Taylor. And here is Johnson. And the pass to Walters. He kicks to Thomas. Johnson, that's for two. Taylor with the rebound. Taylor's got his third rebound tonight. Pass to the monster. On the wing, Williams. Just five on the clock. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Celtics leading by 11. Here's Thomas. He's got 12, and the shot is good. And an open path to the hoop there. Easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. Outside, Taylor. From outside the arc, that drops. Taylor. Taylor's got 26. The Celtics have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. And Capella sends it back. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Kyle Corver, he's checked in for Atlanta. There's the pick. Here's Walters. Atlanta with the rebound. Man, that is a missed opportunity right there. And he'll be the first to tell you, Greg, that's one he should have knocked down. Outside Corver. It's tipped and taken away by Johnson. Pass to the great. To the left side wing. Here's Walters, and it's blocked. Taylor attacking. He gets Taylor. it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Taylor's got 28 points for the game. Johnson outside. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Johnson's got six. That kind of power move has become a trademark of his. Outside, Taylor. He dishes it to Capella. It's stolen by Johnson. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Johnson's got the ball. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. The Celtics have made seven of the last 12 attempts at the line. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. You know, Kevin, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. And the first one at the line is good. Boston making some changes. Paul Pierce has checked in for Lewis. Bradley comes in for Thunder. And Marcus Smart has subbed in for Thomas. Dante Exum is checked in for Atlanta. Johnson hits them both. The Hawks trail by 12. Now, here's Exum. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Here's Capella. Uses both hands to slam it down. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? Now, Exum. Six to shoot. And easy two points on the layup. 
Exum's got his first bucket of the night. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Fade away, and it's Boston with another. They're spraying them home from mid-range today, guys. Finding the gaps in the defense and really just slicing and dicing them right now. Now, here's Exum. There's a screen. Top of the key, Corver. Corver missing again. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. Now, here's Exum. Following the miss by Avery Bradley. Out to the wing. That's a two from Sephalosha. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Corver against Pierce. Corver with the defensive effort. The Hawks trail by 12. Exum with it. Kicks to Cephalosha. They set the pick. Now the feed to Corver. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. On up the court. You're smart. That's good. And the Celtics lead by 14. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here is Cephalosha. He's got five. Outside for Corver. Atlanta again missing. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter.
It's actually been ugly to see. The great passes to Smart. And again, Boston with the triple. He might not have the long range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. They set the pick. Back to Corver. Hawks passing it around. Cephalosha misses. Austin leading by 17. Johnson outside. Outside Pierce. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his eighth assist here tonight. And, and chalk up a few more points for him there. This has been a one-sided game in just about every area. Absolutely. I echo that sentiment. Their offense, their defense. I mean, it's all been terrific. Now, here's Exum. He feeds it to Corver. Hits the three-point bomb. Corver's got his third basket of the night right there. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. On the wing, Johnson. Covered by Cephalosha. Johnson attacking. And again, it's Boston converting. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, and usually when a team goes on a run like this, it's because they are getting too many opportunities on the inside. Make them beat you from deep. For Atlanta, they have made seven of the last 12 attempts at the line. Two shots. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Austin making some changes. Horford comes in for Pierce. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Joe Johnson. Then for the Hawks, Ilya Sova, he's checked in for the Monster. And it's Young in for Capella. And he's good on the second. Celtics leading by 17. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. They set the pick. And here's Smart. He has five. Feeds it to Horford. And it's a defensive three second violation. The Celtics have made nine free throws in the game. 14 attempts. Dennis Schroeder at the line with one shot. And no good on the technical, so unable to pick that one up. Now, here's Smart. He's guarded closely. The dish to Schroeder. Now, here is Horford. Goes up to the strike. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Celtics out in front. We're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. Celtics leading by 17. ABC is out there with Horford. Then it's Isaiah Thomas, then it's Thunder, and it's Smart in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Horford kicks to Lewis. Second chance shot. And that's two points on the way. Lewis has got the first points up.
on the board here in the fourth for Boston. The Hawks trail by 19. Taylor dishes to Corver. Pass to Young. He kicks it to Williams. The feed to Corver. From deep. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. And that's now 11 points in the game for Kyle Corver. Thomas passes to Walters. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Now here's Corver. Young right side. Rebound Boston. Thunder's got four rebounds in this game. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And here's Corbin from the arc. Another three for Atlanta. This guy's really flowing with his stroke right now. He hit one earlier, and now he has three in this half. Lewis down low, defended by Young. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. And, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Boston. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, and the other thing that they've done well is they've really attacked the gaps of the defense with quick, decisive drives down the lane. The Hawks trail by 18. Outside, Taylor. Dishes it to Corver. The pass to Williams. Fades and shoots. Four seconds left. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. At the line for the Celtics. Her son will be so. At the line for two. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And the Hawks making a change here. Capella's checked in. It's the second from the line. Celtics leading by 17. Lewis attacking. 13 feet away. Here's the great, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. He just punishes you on the backboard. I mean, it's pretty deflating for a team trailing big and still giving up second chance opportunities. Now, here is Young. Pass to Williams. Six to shoot. Launches a three. They get it back. Ilya Sova. And he drops it in from the low post. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. Thomas passes to Walters. Here's Horford. And he makes good on the layup. And the Celtics lead by 19. They'll take as many of those looks as they can get. Atlanta's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Taylor attacking. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's Thomas. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on Thaddeus Young. Shoot 
team from Austin. Isaiah Thomas will be at the line shooting two. Shooting two, shooting two. The first free throw is good. This is a positive trend for him, especially here in the second half. Shooting just above 80% right now. And that's more than respectable. That's good free throw shooting. Tabo Safalosha has checked in for Ilyasova. And both free throws good for Thomas. Here's Taylor. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. There's a screen. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Thomas. Clock at four. A shot by Williams, no good. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Thomas kicks to Horford. Young with the steal. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. Sephalosha misses. Celtics leading by 21. Picked by Horford. Thomas dishes to Horford. Passes it to the great. Bounces high off the rim and drops. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. <laughs> and there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. But again, it's just one game, but nonetheless, a very impressive one, the way they've handled their business here. Here's Taylor after the basket by Boston. And it's going to be a three-second call. Not doing them any favors with those kinds of errors. Especially now, Greg, with every possession being so crucial. On offense, here are the Celtics. They're on an 11 to 3 run right now. Kicks it to Horford. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. All right, yeah, that's a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. Good. Celtics leading by 23. Outside Thomas. High arcing shot. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. Yeah, that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over him. You know, guys sometimes love proving people wrong. You know that from guys you've played with. <laughs> and Greg, this mismatch gives him an opportunity to uh, quiet the haters and naysayers. Yeah. Okay. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchups. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. And a new group in for the Celtics. Mahimi's checked in for the great. Pierce comes in for Al Horford. Alinari, he's checked in for ABC. And Bradley subbed in for Thunder. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Splitter is checked in for Capella. Mike Muscala comes in for Thaddeus Young. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for Cephalosha. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Williams. Now here's Taylor. In the corner, it's Jefferson. Sinks the triple. Man, this fourth quarter has been tremendous. They have been exceptional from deep. Yeah, a bunch of their points coming from long range here. A major barrage. Bradley against Holiday. Bradley passes to Thomas. That doesn't go either for Thomas. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. It's better to be lucky than good sometimes. Fortunately, they didn't get burned on that one. Celtics leading by 22. It's Bradley on the wing. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. An open jump shot there, and their D not putting up any resistance today. Thomas against Taylor. 
They set the pick. Outside Holiday. Five on the clock. Pierce with the rebound. Pierce has got his fifth rebound in this one. Thomas gets a wide open look. Kept alive by Boston. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Taylor kicks to Moscow. It's up a three. A shot by Taylor, no good. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, you hope that's not indicative of the type of D they're going to play because if they do, they're going to have struggles with him tonight. Now here's Taylor following the miss by Paul Pierce. And Jefferson wide open. He shoots. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Austin's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. They set the screen. Here's Colinari. And he uses the glass on the lane. Now, Taylor. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Now, here's Taylor. Outside for Jefferson. Hits it from three-point range. Jefferson's got six here in this quarter. They've gotten a bunch of good looks and have been absolutely lethal from behind the three-point line. Yeah, defensively, you have got to close out and contest. Even if it opens up some driving lanes, you can't give up those looks that often. Now a timeout called by Boston. And a new group in for the Celtics. The grades checked in for Mahini. Horford comes in for Pierce. Lewis checked in for Gallinari. And Thunder subbed in for Avery Bradley. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Axum's checked in. Celtics leading by 23. Outside Thomas. Lewis against Jefferson. Lewis attacking. Lock at six. Atlanta with the rebound. Splitters got four rebounds now tonight. Exum dishes to Holiday. Here's Muscala. His three-pointers off the mark. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Now, here's Exum. The kick out to Holiday takes a three. Lewis grabs the board. The Celtics shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Help the budget. And that's 21 points for Thunder. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we could see right there why he does. There's Exum. Muscala, the pass to Holiday. He dishes it to Exum. The Hawks again can't hit. Boston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. There's the screen. And Thomas, here we go. Stolen by Exum. In the corner, it's Jefferson. And it's Exum in the corner. Pulls up. And the shot no good. A bit short. Celtic shooting. Certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Thunder passes to Thomas. Lewis gets the bucket. Lewis has got 11 points here in just the second half. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Well, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range. So I'd have to agree with you, partner. Here's Muscala. He feeds it to Splitter. The dish to Exum. Right, 
Here's Jefferson, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given him. He's been a key contributor for them in this sport. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Celtics. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And it will be a fight, Greg. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for the players. And one of the league's truly special talents making his mark once again. Another great performance for Thunder. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over it. And you can sense the fact that they didn't want to let the fans down here. It's been a fun night to be in the building. Greg, it really has been. I mean, such a lively, vibrant atmosphere. And no doubt that played a part in the big win. So it's the Hawks now following the bucket by the Celtics. Muscala gets the bucket. And they clearly are just destroying this group right now from the three-point line. Yeah, and the defense knows it. I mean, they are fully stretched out trying to stop the three-point shot and still haven't been able to do it. Outside Thomas. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and Clark the other just searching for answers that they could never find. Well, I think these fans, too, Kevin, gave their team a tremendous lift. I mean, they never gave up on them. From the opening tip until the end of the game, they were in it, and that certainly helped this crew get to the W. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Well, Al, certainly a great team effort. What were the biggest factors in how this team came together for the win? Uh, just taking good shots on offense, um, trying to, you know, getting stops on defense. Uh, we challenged every shot. Um, you know, we just, just played hard tonight. Defense wins championships, and tonight it won this game. Al, thank you, guys. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now time to send it over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the post-game show. The 2K Sports post-game show. And Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. Well, his rebounding was a story for me tonight, guys. He couldn't have been any more ferocious on the boards. This game would have had a much different feel if he wasn't controlling the glass like that. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.